What is pregnenolone steel syndrome? We know biologically that the optimal times for physical exertion and exercise is between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. with cortisol being highest at 9 a.m. and going down the rest of the day. We made a post the other that got a lot of response and thank you for everyone for all your feedback. And so I'm making this post today of how exercise before breakfast, uh, you run the risk of increasing your cortisol. And we have pregnenolone steel syndrome. What it does is disrupt our hormonal response of controlling our uh, lean tissue mass, our muscle to our fat ratio and eventually, eventually affecting our body composition. It also slows our protein synthesis, which happens in the afternoon and early evening. It also ruins our sleep cycle. And you can know this by getting your DHA, DHEA levels checked. Very important to do that. And you also run the risk of overtraining. So the optimum time for protein synthesis is between one and 4 p.m. That's why we're advocating for that. You can certainly exercise outside of that. I'm not saying not to do that, but what you're gonna do is shorten your telomere length. Your telomeres is your life expectancy. So if you are okay with that, you can do that. The modern world is not designed for us to live in fluorescent blue lights inside of boxes and to work outside of these levels. What we really need to focus on if we want optimal health for all of longevity, not just to short our gain, is to master our meal timing, our light cycles of red light, our cryothermogenesis, our, our cold response to cold showers and um, things of that nature, and also our sleep cycles. So hopefully that helps answer some of your questions. Keep up the good work, everybody. And we want you to be around here for a long time.